Ozarks, you'll find a rare 90-year-old Violet. Actually, you'll hear Violet Hensley before you see her. If her hands seem to resemble the fiddle she plays, it's because one made the other. See how it's worn out? It's made many fiddles. Violet makes fiddles by hand, bending, carving, and testing them out in her kitchen. Just as she's done for years. The last CBS reporter she entertained was a guy named Charles Corral some 30 years ago. Do you like uh, playing the fiddle or making it better? Well, that'd be very hard for me to say because I get started on either one, I just don't want to quit. I'm going to show you something see if you've tried it. She hasn't quit or even slowed down. Do you think you've made 73 fiddles? 73. You're a one-woman factory, huh? I could have made a lot more than that if I'd left off this kind and gardening and canning and cutting the neighbor's hair and sewing for the neighbors, men and women. Doctors ordered Violet to stop breaking horses and riding bareback. So she took up clogging. She performs five days a week. And what do you do in your free time? Talk. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're just good at that too, aren't you? <laughs> but her mouth is sharper than her eyes. If I hadn't done so much of this, I wouldn't know what I was doing. Her hands guide her work now. No, I can't see now. Okay. You don't, don't burn yourself. And her heart. She sells the fiddles for about $2,000. That's only a fraction of what they're worth. I, people kept telling me I ought to get more for them. So I said, well, the rest of it, I was a pleasure knowing that I made it. Look at it. What would you say to people who say at 90 years old, you should start thinking about slowing down? No. <laughs> Don't slow down till you have to. <laughs> Sometimes a change in tempo is completely out of the question. Sharon Alfonsi, CBS News, Yellville, Arkansas.